Welcome to Happy Sewing. Today we are making this simple but beautiful hoodie. Welcome to Happy Sewing. In this project I use scissors, rotary cutter, clips, pins, glue pen, ribbon, chalk and the binding folder. For fabric I use French terry and the rib is stretch ribbed fabric. You will find this pattern on happysewing.com and Patreon. Here you can see the hoodie panel, the hoodie side panel, sleeves, rib, front and back pieces and the pocket. Here you can see the hood side and center panels. We start by attaching them with glue and clips. The wide curved side on the center panel has to be at the top. The pointy end at the side panel has to be at the bottom. This is the outer fabric. We are making another one for the lining. Same method and it looks like this. When they look like this, we are ready to sew them. I use my brother overlock machine. You can use a normal sewing machine. If you want a string on the hood, you have to mount the eyelets now. We choose not to have a string. When we have sewn together these pieces, we are sewing the lining into the outer fabric. We are only sewing the face opening on the hoodie now. We are going to sew the bottom seam when we attach the hoodie. This is what it should look like when it's ready to be sewn. I use my overlock here as well. A normal sewing machine works fine for this job. Make sure to check the alignment during sewing. When it's finished, it should look like this. We put the hoodie aside and start to work on the front and back pieces. The front piece has two parts, one grey top piece and a blue bottom piece. We lay the top piece like this to get the seam on the inside of the garment. We do the shoulder seams while we are at it. Align the top and back pieces like this. Then we start to work on the sleeves, but first we sew these seams. They are done, and it's time to start working on the sleeves. I get a lot of questions about sleeves, so here is a little tip. I like to fold the sleeves to find the center point, and I make a small cut. I align the cut with the shoulder seam. That's how I know that the sleeve is laying exactly where it should. I'm using my overlock machine for this as well. But every seam we make in this tutorial can easily be done with a normal sewing machine. When the sleeves is attached, I do the side seams. I turn the fabric inside out because I want these seams to be on the inside of the garment. I use glue in the arm opening where the sleeves hits the main fabric. I use glue at the bottom of the main fabric as well. After I'm done with the glue, I apply clips. When I have applied all the clips on this side, I turn the fabric and do the same on the other side. Then we prepare the rib. We have a waist rib and an arm rib for this hoodie. I fold all three of them like this and I align the address. It's time to sew the rib seams and the side seams.
it's finally looking more and more like a hoodie. We are still missing the hood, the ribbing and the front pocket. Let's do the front pocket. I start by pressing the pocket. That's because I don't want folds or dents that will mess up the alignment. We fold the bottom sides like this. I do the same on the top part of the pocket. We are also going to add an edge ribbon to the pocket opening. I use a folder and a cover stitch machine on this job. I guide the ribbon through the folder with my tweezers. When the front pocket is attached, we start to work on the bottom rib and the arm rib. I fold them like this. I align the rib seams with the side seams. When they are attached, it's time to sew them. All that is left is installing the hood. I attach the hood while the garment is inside out. The hood has multiple layers, so I apply clips to keep track of them before I install the hood. When the hood is placed, I simply transfer the clips. The placing of the front opening of the hood is very important. I do it like this. When this is completed, it's time to sew them. I'm fastening the loose threadings and the hoodie is complete. In the next video, we are going to sew a beautiful once a dress. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you know when another beautiful garment is ready. Thank you for sewing with me, see you next time!